contrary to what some people say, cooperation is succeeding in the Arctic. We're seeing continued cooperation on fisheries management between Norway and Russia, which is preserving the stock of fish in the Barents Sea. We're seeing cooperation on search and rescue between Russia and the United States, which is saving lives in the Bering Sea. Uh, we are seeing no armed conflict and only a small degree of military buildup, where, in contrast, if cooperation was failing, we might see armed conflict, we might see significant military buildup. One thing that could make it collapse would be if uh, Arctic uh, governments uh, failed to, to realize the uh, importance and the potential uh, for continued and, and increased cooperation. The other thing, of course, is that we could see a breakdown if uh, there were uh, armed conflict between NATO countries and Russia, let's say in the Ukraine or in Syria. Uh, if that were to happen, it would be difficult to contain. Hopefully, it, it won't happen. I have several hopes for this uh, conference. One is that the uh, Aarhus Declaration that Professor Michael Bos and I released uh, about Hans Island will be taken up by the governments of Denmark and Canada. And I hope more broadly that uh, this conference uh, will provide some very serious uh, social science uh, and natural science exchanges on uh, developments in the Arctic because, of course, understanding is the key to uh, good decision making.